What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 87 Zakaria has came out and he looks amazing. Obviously his original position was a CDM, 88 pace, 90 physical, 86 defending, 83 dribbling and 79 passing. You, It looks like you can't go wrong. He is 6 foot 3 so he is, a, I would put, like say 6 foot 2 is minimum, but 6 foot 3 for a centre back? <laughs> 6 for 3, 6 for 4 is probably the perfect height. Now, he has got low high, which means he's going to be very, very defensive. He won't be going up at all, and he'll be playing very, very deep. He has got a 3-star skill moves, which, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't do skill moves with your centre-backs anyway. But a 3-star weak foot is essential. Is the minimum I would personally go. I don't like playing with 2-star weak foot because you never know. When you're switching to play, they are most likely going to screw up with that, obviously, left foot. Now, he is on an anchor chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 86 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. A super, super fast centre back that will be catching up to a lot of attackers. Now, his finishing stats aren't even that bad, to be fair to him. 72 finishing, 77 shot power. <laughs> if it's inside the box, why not give it a go? But with that low high work rate, I doubt he'll be anywhere near the box. Now he's got 81 vision, 86 short passing, 84 long passing, 72 crossing and 68 uh, curve. Now I'll tell you what, the passing looks insane. The little switch off plays are going to be beautiful. The little short pass, the little RBAs into the middle should be perfect on this guy. Now, one thing that all good centre-backs struggle with sometimes is the agility and balance. And this guy does not have it either. 73 agility and 70 balance is not going to be enough. At some point, you're just going to have to think to yourself, he's more of a person that is going to tackle the ball than instantly release it rather than, you know, go for a little dribble sometimes. 83 reactions, 88 ball control, 84 dribbling and 81 composure. The ball control is very nice simply because if the ball just starts, you know, gets full pelted, let's say an RBA towards him, he should be a nice, calm, composed touch and he shouldn't really be taking any bad touches with 88 ball control. He has got 92 interceptions, 81 heading accuracy, 99 defensive awareness, 98 standing tackle and 93 slide, uh, sliding tackle. I'll tell you what, the interceptions is going to be very nice, especially with high reactions. Them interceptions should be so, so good because he is 6 foot 3 as well, which means he's going to have that big reach to intercept the ball. The defensive awareness is going to mean it's going to be at the right place at the right time and he will be tracking runs as well. The standing tackle, 6 foot 3 and he's got that high standing tackle. I'm expecting a little Virgil van Dijk kind of tackle where you can go round the play, you can click B from behind and he somehow, some way reaches round him. He's also got 81 jumping. Him being 6'3", he will be winning headers over 6'4". And he's probably going to be winning headers over 6'4", or below. If anyone's 6'5", like Ebro and stuff, I doubt he'll win headers over those. Now, he has got 85 stamina, but you don't need that much stamina on a centre-back anyway. But he's just nice to have, I guess. He's got 96 strength, which means bodying left players left, right, and centre. He has 99 aggression as well, which means when this guy gets near the ball, it's game over. He's going to turn into Sonic all of a sudden. But today I have linked him up with Mbabu, Davis and Allison. I've also got a like so Timo Werner, Bailey and Sancho in the team. I will be using Zakara in a 4-4-2 but it doesn't really matter which formation because he's a centre back. I'm going to play him in a 4 at the back. It's simple as that. Let's get straight into these games. So let's see how he feels on the ball. This is obviously the first time using him. Okay, he doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it looks like he is going to be one of those players that you're not obviously going to do them little twists and turns with. You're just going to, you know, tackle and then release the ball. On that, Sakara, there you go. Very strong tackle or oh, referee. What I was going to win this there was he was going to shield off the player very, very nicely. That is obviously a Serbia walking away. So we have got a big, big competition for him. Picking up the ball. Running over a little bit. Doesn't feel too fast on the ball. I'm not going to lie, but... Switch off play, beautiful switch of play, especially with the weaker foot. He can do one of those lofted passes all the way to the other side. It's very nice. Just catch up. There you go. I kind of pulled him out of position there by accident, but then he had a very nice recovery. Just going to Ezebiel's back and just instantly taking the ball with him. Nice. That was good pressure from him. Just getting out of his position to simply go rushing at the player, showing his aggression, obviously. And the way he just sped up all the way there as well was so, so good. Like, from point A to point B in literally a split second and pulls and very, very nice standing, standing tackle out. So we have obviously got a corner and he is six foot three. I'm not expecting him to win headers, but at the same time, you know, he's got their tributes to do it. So why not give it a go? Oh, it was super, super close. If I'll tell you what, if they're keeper, didn't come out for that. 
that might have actually been a goal. So we have got another corner. He has actually brought out the keeper this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this near, I would say near the edge here. And let's see if he can just win the header. Oh, we didn't really fight for it in the air. That's one thing I did notice. He was like very, very weak. And usually players like Virgil van Dijk and stuff, they're not weak up in the air. They usually just fight for the ball up in the air and actually try to get it. But that's one thing I did witness from him. Nice. All right. I got myself in a stupid situation. I'm not going to lie. I did try to turn with him. And that is literally a perfect example why you shouldn't. You're going to get yourself into those little situations. And luckily, he was good enough to obviously go for the slide tackle and just get the ball back. Great pressure. Great standing tackle once again. Just just straight on to him. As I said, that is one thing you're going to be able to do with him. Just completely rush out his position. Rush out the player because he does it so fast that the opponent does not obviously expect it. Go on. Look at that pace. So I understand he didn't actually put the standing tackle in. But the amount of pace that he used just to get from point A to point B is unbelievable. And he has gave away a pen. I'm not going to lie. I didn't touch any button. I did not touch any button here. It's his instincts has just clicked. Apparently, B automatically, and he's gave away a pen. Straight on to that. There you go. What I did was I backed De Jong away simply to kind of bait the player there. And obviously, Zakara is fast enough to bait players out just like that. And he's going to get an easy interception. Calm and composed. Calm and composed. That's exactly what you want. Nice. That's a beautiful switch of play. You see how there was power and accuracy behind that? Also a very, very fast dip. That pretty much means that he is going to be able to do that most likely 10 out of 10 times. Nice. That's a good tackle for him. I like his defensive awareness there. He kind of tracked back into a spot where if I did end up losing the ball, he would always be there as a backup. And to be fair, it worked perfectly. So it is time to review him. And let me say, Zerkara. A lot of people are linking this guy up with like a Kanji or even the new Hummels that came out not, a few, not long ago. And... I can see why. I'm not going to lie. I can see why. This guy is very fast. He is big. He shows pure dominance, but he is very, very clumsy at the same time. And I'll get into that a bit later. Six foot three. This guy can tackle from the back without a problem. He's one of those players that can tackle like Van Dyke in a way where you just click B and you're going to get the ball. And that is one thing that he's got over a lot of defenders. The low high work rate doesn't matter too much. It act actually acted like a medium high in a way where they were like, they were right even with each other. And that's something you do want to see from your defenders. You don't want to see one up and one down. Otherwise, there is going to be a gap. Now, the freestyle weak foot was nice as well. The little chip into the middle and obviously the switch of plays. That was perfect on him. Pace, a very, very fast center back. Very fast. And I'm not going to lie. This guy could be one of the fastest center backs that I actually have used. The way he's from point A to point B in a split second just shows his aggression and pace all coming together and making a really, really good card. Now, the passing-wise, as I said, the switch of plays, a little trip into the middle, was beautiful with both feet. Uh, ball control. That's one thing I do want to get into. He's very nice on ball control. So, let's say you RBA him the, to, uh, the ball. He's never going to take a bad touch. And that is a huge, huge plus over, like, a lot of centre-backs nowadays. And his agility wasn't terrible. But you more of a player, he's more of a player that if you are going to turn, you're probably going to have to hold LT to turn to shield the ball because I personally wouldn't trust him on like, you know, twists and turns. Interceptions, amazing. He's got that reach on him. Defender awareness was outstanding. Tracking runs by himself was probably the best bit that I did see. The standing tackle puts a very nice, strong standing tackle win. And I would say most of the time gets the ball, but he did give away an automatic pen that I didn't click a button with, you know. You don't see that from Van Dyke. You don't see that from the top, top tier uh, centre backs nowadays. But at the same time, all the other tackles are allowed. He was good at it. Now, jumping wise, he was actually pretty decent at it. But one thing I did know is that is he's weird up in the air. He doesn't go up as an animation that he would head at a ball. He goes up just like jumps up, just jumps straight up, if you know what I mean. And I don't know. He does win headers, but not very consistently. Stamina, as I said, you don't need 85 stamina as a centre-back. You really don't. The guy lasts throughout the whole game with probably 70. But it's always nice to have. Strength, unbelievable. Boarding players left, right and centre. And the aggression, that's one thing I do want to talk about. The 50-50s this guy was pulling out was unbelievable, man. He's just... It's just so... I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, he was one of the most aggressive centre-backs I've ever used. I'm going to say that, hands down. And... He wins a lot, a lot of 50-50s. And that is something you do want to see from your centre-back. Now, I'll have to give him a rating out of 10. 
I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10. is because I do believe a 10 out of 10 is someone that can obviously move a centre back that, that, uh, that can move. But at the same time, he's clumsy. So I'll be careful with this guy. I'm not going to lie about that. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.